To add your stream mix from the Wavelink software over to OBS, you're ready to do recording and streaming, right? You're ready to do advanced production. This is the tutorial video for you. I'm gonna show you how to pull the stream mix over, which is gonna take your mic, maybe your music, your game audio, your PowerPoint, your browser, whatever it is that you're mixing together in your Wavelink software. And bringing that master stream mix that you see down here in your Wavelink software and bringing that over to OBS as one source to make things easy. What does this do? This makes it so that all of your inputs here in the Wavelink software are all being mixed within Wavelink. So this means that as you adjust your volume levels up and down on the stream mix channels for each uh, particular source, the stream mix channels, by the way, are these little broadcasty symbol ones. As you choose to mute them or change the volume, that's going to input what is a that is going to change essentially what is a part of the stream mix here. And you can change the volume of the master stream mix here in Wavelink software up and down and choose to monitor it or not. And what you're doing here in Wavelink, the whole point of this ramble here is everything you're doing in Wavelink with your stream mix is going to be brought directly into OBS without you having to do anything extra in OBS. Cool? So you're basically using Wavelink as your digital mixer to mix all your audio and just bring it into OBS nice and simple with just a couple clicks. Here's how you do it. What you're gonna do is go down to sources, plus button, then you're going to go to audio input capture. Once you do that, it'll pull up this menu and I like to call it stream mix or you can call it master mix, whatever you wanna do because that's essentially what it is, is the master mix of all your audio that you're pulling over from Wavelink over. Then you're going to need to manually select your device. Go ahead and select Wavelink stream. That's gonna be the stream mix in every setting that you've chosen over in the Wavelink software. Hit OK, and boom, there it is. Every single input that you have in the Wavelink software over here will be brought over in one input. No, no longer is there a need to add your mic here, plus your music here, plus your this, plus your that. It's all in one mix now that's brought over um, from Wavelink. Now, one thing to keep in mind, as you can see, my audio is way hot here, and it's peaking toward the end. So we need to keep in mind that we need to manage the volume levels of our stream mix and make sure we're not blowing people up here in OBS. So as you can see, when I'm talking, for example, check one, two, three, my audio is going toward the end here and it is way too hot. So what I would do is I would go to my microphone here. Notice this is the um, stream mix channel here for my microphone. I would go up to that volume level and I would bring it down maybe like 15% and then go double check here in the in OBS. There we go. Now my volume is not peaking and now it's not slamming toward the end. So keep a very close eye and make sure that your stream mix is not too hot and that you're not blowing people up with that stream mix. Got it? Then the, the only filter I recommend using here, hit the gear cog and go down to filters for your stream mix is just adding a limiter. Just in case some element of your audio gets super loud all of a sudden and surprises you, you can solve that problem by hitting the plus button here and going to limiter, hitting OK, and then under your threshold for your limiter, do negative 3 dB. That's gonna prevent any audio from going above negative 3 dB and blowing up the headphones of your listeners, got it? So no matter what happens, your music, your game audio, your PowerPoint, whatever, if it gets super loud, it'll never go past this negative three mark right here. It literally blocks it from doing that, which can save the ears of your listeners and make for a better experience. That's how you bring in the stream mix from Wavelink over to OBS and simplify all those audio inputs on your computer into one audio input into OBS. I love the simplification, and that's why I recommend the I got to wave three to my consulting clients regularly. It's more simple than other audio routing solutions on your computer. It just is. Adios and enjoy.